gone. Something snapped in the head. She's not connected to the motor. That would be why. She totally made shite off the gear. How she did that, I do not know. It must have just shattered. The actual crown gear doesn't look to be damaged. Not as easy as I thought. Bust the head. Actual lock pun's about to break off. I live like that, that piece of alum aluminium's gonna break off anyway. Go deeper. Pull the motor apart. Okay, get rid of that, new gear head, new bevel gear. This will do the job. to here and here. Sometimes the simplest form of organization is the best. Old basket boxes with old foam tubes inside. Back the way he had it. Obviously that's not right. That's too geary. Should have checked this before I started. My fault. I looked up the part number. I got the first gear and stuck it on. Should have locked up the original Makita sheets. I'm dealing with gears that can be tricky. Because Makita eventually might upgrade the parts or change them in some way. And that's what's happened here. I would imagine. Yeah, this is the old version.
Right. Let's see if those numbers right. Yeah, I'm wrong. That number is off the new model. The newer part number for this model of machine. I have old Makita software from like 2006. And I'll tell you when you click on the part, updated part numbers. So this is the current or the original model. Actual bottom of the bevel gear. The crown gear, sorry. It's flat. The newer version, there's an actual line cut on to identify it. This is off the newer version. This is the older version. Not much difference between them. Might be about half a mile. But it'll be enough to interfere with them gears. So it's the old gear, so we need to put on the old bevel gear. Which I luckily still have in stock. So I don't have to change that gear. Hopefully anyway. That's better. That's better. You don't want to stick your hand against it now when it's running. I'll quickly take it off. Now she should run. She should run, she locks, and she can breathe. These air holes before are completely blocked up. So it's an old 9069 grinder, up and running again. Has to be before 2005 because that's when that part was changed. So my guess would be around 2000 or 1999 for that machine. That's another golden oldie fixed up again. A new gear, a new gear head. Not so bad. A decent grinder to keep as well. They were quite a powerful grinder, as you can see, they lasted 